In this video, we will review A16AW, a retro-styled digital watch from Casio with electroluminescent spec light. Welcome to this review channel, I hope you're all doing well. The main features of this watch are stainless steel strap with adjustable buckle, electroluminescent backlight, and water resistant. I will add the details in the video description. Case size is 36.3 mm wide, 38.6 mm high, and 9.6 mm thick. So it's a bit thick compared to the other similarly styled Casio. The total weight is 50 grams, including strap. The case or bezel is made of resin. The crystal is also made of resin. On the left side, there are two buttons, light and mode. And here is the right side with one button, start stop, which also functioned as 12 24 hours button. On the back side, a stainless steel back plate with four screws. Here engraved the specification, movement code 3298, series, water assist spec, and manufacturing location. The strap or bracelet is made of stainless steel. The lug width is standard 18 mm with pin holes on the sides. To remove the spring bar, you can push it through this hole. This is the buckle side of the strap. And this is the back side. And the buckle hook. This is the tail side of the strap. And this is the back side. And this is the sliding lock adjustment. Overall, the bracelet is well built. The edges are not sharp and it doesn't look cheap. For the front view, at the top, Casio, alarm chrono, electroluminescence, and at the bottom, illuminator, water resist. On the LCD screen, it shows indicators of alarm, hourly signal, and then day, date, 24-hour RPM, hour, minutes, and seconds. To switch from AM-PM to 24-hour, you can do by pressing the start-stop button. And now, this is the feature that I really like from this model, the backlight. It uses an EL or electroluminescence lighting with blue-green color. Let's check it in the dark. It's clearly showing the LCD screen. And even with the light on, the backlight is also visible. Next, the Casio check. If we press and hold the start-stop button, the words Casio will appear on the screen. There are four modes available. First is the timekeeping, and second alarms and hourly signal. We can choose which features to activate. And then third, stopwatch, start and stop, reset, or start, split, and continue. And then fourth is adjust mode. Here we can set the time and calendar. To adjust the strap is easy by moving the sliding lock adjustment. Just pry in this slot with a small screwdriver. The shortest position or the smallest circumference is about 14.5 cm. And the furthest position or the largest circumference is about 21 cm. For the right adjustment, you can try on your wrist, or here I will set it according to my wrist size, 17.5 cm, then lock the sliding adjustment. If you want to remove the strap, use a tool to push through the hole. Here I'm using the rounded tip of the spring bar remover. Then push the spring bar hole, and the strap is released. The same thing also applies to the other side. Now let's open this watch and take a peek at what's inside. Remove the four screws and then open the back plate. Here we can find the seal ring and this is the buzzer for the beep sound. And this spring is to connect the module to the buzzer. And this is the pusher and button mechanism.
Now let's try to remove the module. I pry it at the button position. This is the module that looks well built. If you've ever opened an F91W, you can see that this module dimension is thicker. And for the inside of the case, this is how it looks like, well built, and this is the pusher for the button. Okay, let's close it again and install the bracelet. Now let me try on my wrist. As a reference, my wrist size is about 17.5 cm. And this watch fits well, proportional, not too tiny, and not too large, and comfortable. Moving on to the pros and cons. For the pros, first, the AL backlight is really good. And then the second one, it has a good build quality. And also, the third one, it's comfortable to wear. As for the cons, first, as usual for the price range, it has a resin screen, which means not scratch resistant. Anyway, you can try installing an anti-scratch or make your own from a notebook or universal type anti-scratch. Second, the body is not metal but is made from resin with chrome finishing. So there's a higher risk of dents and scratch. And third, at 9.6mm, it's slightly thicker than F91W at 8.5mm. This seems to be the consequence of using EL backlight in the module, which takes space for the components. If you look at this position, it looks just a bit tall. I've been wearing it for a while, doing many daily routines, and I can tell you that this watch is comfortable with a decent water resistant. Some might say that this type of bracelet pulls the hair, but honestly, I can remember experiencing the same thing. Overall, this is a well-built watch with a cool classic retro vibe and a superb EL backlight. In my opinion, this watch is suitable to wear with suits or traditional pattern cloth like batik, especially with a brown or blue theme. By the way, if you need a slimmer model, you can check the A158 or A159. The main difference is that those two don't use EL backlight. That's all for this video, hopefully it will be useful for your reference. If you like this review, please support us by clicking like and subscribe. Stay safe, see you in the next video. Bye!